Hey you guys, I am off today, so you're going to be hanging out with me for a little bit. We're going to go do a few things, go to the post office, go get some groceries, it's going to be awesome. Well, I went to the grocery store and I wanted to take you guys with me, but it started pouring. I don't know if you can even see how rainy it is out here, but it's pretty rainy. And it was so funny because I was checking out of the grocery store, I was in line, and um, our bag boy, we have this bag boy, his name is uh, Daniel, I believe. He really likes to check us out, like, like check us out. No, he likes to bag our stuff up because he, I guess he really likes Tim. I don't know. But he, um, I was like, he didn't bag up my stuff. Another guy did. And he came over and I had two bag boys at one point. And then the one guy was like, oh, let me take your stuff out. It's pouring. And I said, no, 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 it's okay. I have my umbrella. I'll be fine. Well, then I get like halfway to my car and Daniel, the other bag guy, comes running out and he's like, give me that cart. You're not going to put that stuff in your own cart. Your husband's not here with you. Like, like, <laughs> it was just, they're, they're very chivalrous, chivalrous at Publix and I appreciate that. Now I'm going to go to the P.O. box and we will see how long it takes for milk and eggs to spoil. Hopefully it doesn't take that long, but um, our P.O. box isn't like crazy close to our house or anything, so... We'll see. Let's keep our fingers crossed. I don't know if you guys could see that, but straight ahead, here, let me turn off the windshield wipers. It's really nice out. Like you can see the, the ending of the rain cloud and then it's, um, it's actually really pretty out up here. So that's Florida weather for you, I guess. I have, I have kind of a question to ask you guys. I know a lot of you guys out there have animals, you know, cats, dogs, birds, fish, alligators, who knows? You guys have animals, I'm sure. So I'm wondering, I have um, Armani, um, he's the one that's not in the videos as much. He has a terrible skin allergy. He's like allergic to everything. I mean, if there's a flea that gets on his skin, he gets like all kinds of irritated. He's like allergic to the grass on the ground. He's allergic to like the pollen. Like he just has terrible skin allergies. And it happens a lot in Florida because there's so much humidity. And I guess with like the yeast and everything, which is very gross. But um, but like, you know, ear irritations are, are, you know, pretty popular or common down here. Skin irritations. I don't know as far as like indoor animals, I can imagine they're probably not as bad, but, um, you know, we've done lots of things. We've had our yard sprayed. We've had our house sprayed, you know, they're on Comfortis, which is like an, an actual pill rather than a, um, a liquid that you put on their skin and, uh, for fleas and ticks and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, they're on heartworm medication. Like they're, we're, they're on everything that they need to be on. But I took them, I took Armani to the vet and my veterinary doctor said, you know, he really needs to be on this medication. It would really, really help his skin. And he was on it before and she's definitely right. It did help his skin. So I said, okay, we'll put him back on it. It's kind of pricey, but Armani's worth it. So we did that and I'm having this problem with the vet um, clinic. They will not, they, they have not uh, ordered the medication. So, and it's not my doctor's fault, it's the office manager's fault who orders the medication and she just won't order it. And I don't know why she won't call me and explain to me why she won't order it. But so I'm wondering, I guess um, all this rambling is really just wondering, what would you guys do? Would you ask them to just fax your information somewhere else, if even though you really like the doctor but you maybe don't like the office manager? you know, what would you guys suggest? What what would be like a good plan of action? You know, cause I've called them several times and I feel like I'm harassing them for this medication, but it's something that affects the dog's liver. So I don't want to put him on it, take him off it, put him on him, take it off it. Cause it's not good for his, um, his liver enzymes. So I'm just, you know, I'm really concerned cause he's already sick, which the vet told me. Um, and then for me to do that is not good for his, um, you know his liver and stuff so for his internal organs which are kind of a big deal um so i'm just wondering what do you guys think i should do let me know in the comments below look at that dough ball it's perfect i am the bread master as we were getting into the car jen says it looks like the lion king over there it does look at it it's crazy and what's the first thing that you say when somebody says it looks like the lion king over there no how does it go she knows all the words. She's lying. I don't know. You do know all the words. Say it. No. Oh, she knows all the words. So, here, I'll say it wrong and then she'll correct me. No, no. Get the beast. Gonna have bistros. 
Those words are better. We're hating Albertsons so much. This place sure is convenient. Somebody really wanted to test out this baby cake. They're like, mmm, baby cakes. I'll give you a dollar if you eat this styrofoam cake. It's only 11 bucks. Only 11 bucks for this styrofoam cake. You know, we came here looking for a cake to celebrate the barn raising and they have one just for the occasion. Uh, this is probably false advertising. Like, I know they look like crayons, but can you actually draw with them and then stick them back in your mouth like, mm, I'm gonna go draw on the sidewalk, mom. In case you guys are wondering, yes, I did do some modeling in my off time for Bluebell. Now it really looks like the Lion King. Either that or end of days. Or a snail. Oh, Jen busted out the big bowls for our ice cream sundae extravaganza. Oh my goodness, I went into like a giant ice cream sundae coma. Ooh, I'm so tired now. That being said, it's time for me to go to sleep. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.